So today I want to talk to you about like the mindset and non-material side of minimalism and what I learned in the past few years and also what I try to implement more and more this year and I think during the next years because I think this part is challenging and something we can always work on. Six things that I want to let go of to live a more happy, more healthy and fulfilled life. The first one, which I think is really important. I do want to encourage you and me to let go of dreams that are not ours. We are faced with a lot of expectations from society or from our parents or our families, our friends, that we should do certain things in life or that we should have certain things in our houses, that we should live a certain lifestyle. But we all know that we live in a very materialistic world, in a world where like capitalism is really important and where as a society we have values that oftentimes do not make the individual really happy. When it comes to being self-employed in my case and not earning a lot of money, but I think I'm a lot happier this way than if I would work a nine to five or in social work, even though I care a lot about that and that's what I studied. But just choosing to not have a car, not have a big house, but rather being uh, able to live in the city, which is pretty expensive. Choosing the things and the lifestyle that fulfills me, makes sense to me and makes me happy, rather than trying to fit the expectations that other people have for me. I think this is really powerful and I'm really trying, because I hear their voices in my head still, of course, I'm really trying to let go of all of these dreams that are not mine, because if they're not mine, they're not going to make me happy. The second thing is something that I think a lot of us think about or also struggle with and that is I want to let go of unhealthy expectations for my body. That means I do not want to expect it to be thin at all times, to perform perfectly at all times, to be hungry at the times I want it to be, to uh, be able to run on like four hours of sleep a night, always be happy and just things like that. I think again that this is something where sometimes we feel pressure to, to, to function all the time. Like um, you should crave healthy foods but you should be super healthy even if you eat junk food. You, you should not sleep enough because then you're maybe lazy and you should just always be 100% happy and able to work and I think these are unrealistic expectations. And then if we mix in there the, the expectations we have for how our body should look, that makes it even harder. Now you can say that I may be in a good position, I am able-bodied and I think my body fits like the standards of what you would call like a good body or a pretty body. But be sure, and no matter what you think about my body or your body, I think everybody can have things they are unhappy with. So if I'm assessing my body and if I'm like giving it scores for different parts, then of course I wouldn't score 10 out of 10 for everything. There are several things where I think like, oh, this could be better. But on the other hand, I do not want to have the expectation for myself, for my body, that it must be perfect all the time that it must like hit all of my expectations and also I do not need to love it all the time and I think that is very important too. You do not need to love your body even though of course it would be better if you could not like hate it. So I try to just have like a neutral um, relationship with my body that allows me like to use it, to be grateful for what it does for me but to not have these high expectations and to not like pressure myself to always love everything of it because not everything is great all the time and that's fine as well, I think. And then the next thing on my list here is the only like really materialistic thing, but I, it just goes a lot beyond that. It has a lot to do with values as well. And that is, I do want to say no to um, gifts and brand deals and just buying things that do not align with my values. And one example for that is fast fashion. I haven't bought fast fashion in five years and I am privileged that, I, that it's possible for me to do this, but I do want to try as much as I can 
to only buy things that align with my values and to say no to everything that is in the end like hurting somebody else. Because maybe you know the saying that if you're not paying the price, like if something is so cheap, then somebody else is paying that in like bad working conditions, not earning a living wage, um, poisoning the environment. And I know that none of us can do a perfect job because whatever we do, it has an impact. Every second we live, we produce carbon emissions. But I think there's a way to do a bit better or be a bit more intentional to, yeah, like minimalists often do, to just not buy things we don't need. Be careful to what we choose, choose things that will last and things that we really want to have and that give us value for a long period of time. Oh, and the fourth thing is a really important one and one that I'm still like struggling with sometimes to this point. And that is, I want to let go and say no to opinions of others about me. Um, and there it of course depends who this person is. So if my boyfriend has an opinion about me or has like an opinion about something that I do, I will of course listen carefully and ask him why he thinks that. Um, yeah, take this into consideration in future actions and thoughts. But if somebody on the internet, and that of course happens, I think, to everybody that has a YouTube channel at some point, people can only talk from like the viewpoint they have on you. And everything somebody says is also a mirror of how they see the world and how they see themselves. And I really want to try to be careful which criticism I want to take and which criticism just has nothing to do with me. Because while I think it's important to listen to others, to interact, to reflect on things we do and think, I also think it's important to not take everything in. There are about 1000 opinions on my hair out there in the internet, and I cannot live up to everybody's expectations. I cannot do what everybody thinks it's best for me. And while hair is a very superficial thing maybe and not important, this of course also goes for more important stuff. So I want to try to take criticism and opinions from people that know me, that know the situation and that want a good outcome for me. But I also want to try to just say no to all the expectations and opinion and criticism and hate from people that know just a tiny little part of my life that don't know me at all, that do not want a good outcome for me. I think you understand what I mean and I hope you can do the same. The fifth thing is something I'm also really working on and that I think has two different sides. And I don't want like money and being successful and my work to be like the center of my life. I think work is just a part of life. We all do it, we should all do it. It can bring a lot of fulfillment and money is really important in our world. It's almost impossible to live without it. And usually work takes up a lot of time and success can bring a certain amount of happiness or make it easier for us to earn enough money to live a comfortable life. But I do think we just put way too much emphasis on being successful and linking this to our happiness. Because while we do need a certain amount of money to not worry about what we will do next month, after a certain point, money is not gonna make us more happy. I am very like strongly believing this. Being self-employed, this is even more difficult at some points, I think, because I have to make my schedule. I am fully responsible for all the money I earn and to, to be able to pay for my life. But it is especially important for me also because I'm still in the, in the building phase of my business. So money is really important to me because I need to make sure that I earn enough. I need to make sure that my business is growing, that I can sustain this, that I can do this in a year or in two years from now. So I kind of have to focus on it. It's not that there's enough money coming in no matter what I do. So I have to focus on my word. I have to put a lot of effort and emphasis on being successful and earning enough, enough money and working enough. On the other hand, I really realized during the past one or two years that it is so important to also take breaks, to not like see my value in how much I work or how much money I earn. Because for me in this, in this business, um, you can put so much work into it and get no rewards, no views, no money, no sponsorships, no like good comments. And you can like crank out a video that you think was like, eh, was okay and 
you get so much ad revenue, so many views, and so much like praise and success and reward. And so putting my happiness into the rewards I get from work is not a good idea. No matter what kind of job you have, I think we are people outside of work too. Our worth is not defined by how productive we are or how successful, what kind of house we live in, what kind of car we drive, if we even have a car. And I think it's really important, but also kind of hard in our society to make sure that we nurture the person we are outside of work and being successful. And then the sixth thing is also, I think, really, really important. And something, I think I'm doing okay, but it's still something, of course, I'm working on. And that is, I do not want to like punish or reward myself with sleep, food, movement, and just how I treat my body. I think our bodies should be honored. And as I said before, you don't need to love your body every single day. I think our body deserves enough sleep, no matter if we worked hard, if we ate well, if we did a lot of sports. I know, especially when it comes to sleep, sometimes that's not something that's up to us. We have schedules. Um, my son needs to be in school at 8 a.m. So we don't have a choice there. He has to get up and my partner and I have to get up too to get him to school, to get him ready. Of course, a lot of us have to go to work at a certain time. Maybe you work night shifts. Maybe you work like different shifts. That can be hard. That can be also make it hard to get enough sleep or maybe you just have to work that much. But however the outside like circumstances are, I think we should try our best to at least with the time we do have and with the opportunities to yeah, decide about our time, we should try to make sure that our body does get enough sleep because rest is not a reward. We all need rest. And if you allow yourself to rest only after doing great things, then maybe you just never rest enough to actually do these great things. Or you could do even better if you would allow yourself to rest before doing great things. Um, and the same goes for movement. Uh, sitting here in my home and working from home, it can happen that I only like not even like make 1000 steps a day. There were days where I had like 500 steps. Now my phone doesn't calculate my steps very precisely sometimes, but, but let's say there are definitely days where I do not take 1000 steps. And that is not like the healthiest way to treat my body. But I always think like, I don't have time to go outside now. I need to work, I need to do this. I need to like care for the household. But on the other hand, my body deserves to get some movement. And that doesn't mean that I like have to punish it to run or to go to the gym if I don't want to, but it just means I deserve some movement, whatever makes me happy. But that also means that I do not have to like punish myself if I do not get 10,000 steps a day. Not every day is the same and life just happens and sometimes it's harder or easier to have your habits, to be healthy, to do everything you wanted to do. So let's help our body. Let's like make it easier for our body by not being so hard on ourselves and just supporting it. And I would really like to know from you what things are that you say no to, especially when it comes to these mindset things. What were shifts that really made an impact for you? Let me know down below in the comments. And now I want to link you this video here, which talks about being really honest with ourselves and experiencing all the benefits from minimalism and actually like making progress on a journey to a more fulfilled and happy life. So I hope to see you right over there. Bye.